Today, we're having a Bass Pro Shops budget fishing challenge, which includes a rod, a reel, and baits. But there's a twist. We're only allowed to purchase red, white, and blue fishing tackle. Tara is going to pick out the red fishing tackle. Your boy Noah is going to pick out the blue fishing tackle. And then we're both going to help each other pick out the white fishing tackle. For the rules of this budget fishing challenge, make sure you stick around until later on in the video. Now let's get inside of Bass Pro Shops and go on a shopping spree. There's so many baits to choose from and it can be a little overwhelming, but Tara is going to go ahead and lead the way and start picking out some of these red baits. All right, y'all, it's time for me to pick out three red baits. Let's go. Shake magnet. We're bringing in the big girls today. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to go with the lipless here. Well, Strike King Red Eye Shad. Do you know why they call it this? Why? Do you know? Uh-huh. It's got a red eye. Ah, uh, smart girl. All right, we got some red hard baits in here. Now it's time to pick out some red soft plastics. Let's go to the Rage Crawl. It's the money section, Tara. It looks like and you got... Oh, All girl. Right, let's go, yes, sir. In the Rage Crawl? This is by far, guys, one of the best soft plastics on the market. You know, the Rage Crawl we use all the time. Oh. The fact that they have a solid red color is perfect. So, definitely got to add that one to the yes. batch. That is it, Tara. That is money. Another red, red one. White and better than you. Yes, blue. sir. All right, Tara, you got hard baits. You got a red worm and you got a red crawl, but I have to pick out something for you because this just looks too good. I was roaming the aisles. Look at this, Tara. So we got two different options. We got a red lizard here, but that's actually a cherry seed lizard. And then we have tomato. I feel like we got to go with tomato, don't we? That's the one. That bait is looking saucy. Hold up. Uh-oh. Oh, you found it. Oh okay. Oh my gosh, my nails. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Can you see Whoa. This? Was this bait made for me? That is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of crazy. So I know this is kind of considered blue, but we have to have the red and the blue for the red, white, and blue challenge, right? Yeah, this is going to count. You got to get both of them. Yep. It is blue bait time. Let's go ahead and start picking them out. Since Tara started off with the hard baits, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and go down the hard bait section. All right, Tara picked out a red eye shad, so you know I have to join the party. She got the red one. And look at that juicy blue that we got. It's got a little bit of chrome on the bottom, a white stripe in the middle, blue on the top, and it's actually already got the red eye, so that is perfect to what we're looking for. That's bait number one. The blue colors for the hard baits are a little slim, but I found one more bait that we definitely have to grab. Chatterdonk, best bait on the market. I don't care what anybody says. I almost bypassed it today. I didn't even think about it. But we have to go with the black and blue Chatterdong, guys. That is just illegal if we didn't pick out this puppy today. So that is exactly what we're going with, black and blue Chatterdong. We got the hard baits that we're picking out. Now we have to get into the soft plastics. Tara got the red rage curl, and I have to match her. Over here with the blue sapphire, baby. That thing is looking good. You know we have to get a red and a blue rage curl. All right, boys, we're about to kill two birds and one stone. We gotta get a worm for this challenge. And look at how spicy that thing looks. Oh my goodness, the blue is just unreal on that bait. And how would this be a fishing challenge without a June bug trick worm? That is just a staple in every fish's diet. The Hoochie Coochie. The Hoochie Coochie? That's what it's named? Hoochie Coochie Electric Blue Clear Silver Flake. Okay. Five We'll do it. <laughs> so now that we got the red and blue baits, it is time that we pick out the white baits. So we decided to go with some caffeine shads, some zoom trick worms, and you already know we had to go with the chatter donkey. We also got a white popping frog, and lastly, a white rage crawl. Now that we got all the baits, it's time for the fun part, the rods and reels. There's so many options when it comes to rods and reels at Bass Pro, but thankfully we needed to pick out a red one and a blue one, so it narrowed them down quite a bit. Tara decided to go with the mock smash. This combo is actually something we use on the channel a lot, so she was pretty excited to add another mock smash to the collection. But when it came down to the blue rods and reels, there were barely any options. After struggling to find a nice blue rod and reel, I decided to go with the old classic, Zebco 33. This might give me some trouble throughout the day, especially with the baits that we bought, but I'm up for the challenge. Tara also wanted to pick out the sun hat. We finally picked everything out, so it's time to go break the bank and get to the pond. Drum roll, please. We got the red baits. This is Tara's baits that she's gonna be using today. 
And uh, the challenge is gonna be this. Tara has red, got the beautiful mock smash. We got white in the middle with all the baits. Then we got blue for your boy over here and i ended up going out with a zebco 33 just to spice today's challenge up before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel i'd appreciate it and this is how it's gonna work tara you're gonna get to pick three baits out of this pile to catch fish on today you can actually use all of them but you really need just three fish on three individual red baits okay so you'll pick out three of these baits to go down to the pond in. I'm gonna pick out three of my blue baits to go down to the pond. And once we catch a fish on three of these baits, so three fish on each three of the baits that we picked, we're gonna move on to the white, okay? And on the white, whoever has to catch a fish on three of the baits. So a total of six fish. So a total of six fish to win the challenge. Three on the blue, three on the white, I win. Three on the red, three on the white for you, you win. So we're gonna go ahead and start the challenge and it's gonna start right now. All right, boys, I'm gonna pick out three of these blue baits and we're gonna go with it today. So I did pick out the Zebco. This was really the only rod that they had that I was like, you know what? That is really the only one that, that is a solid blue color. I couldn't find a bait caster. I couldn't find a spinning reel. I couldn't find anything that really matched the theme of today's video. So that's what I went with. But my one worry with that is if I tie up a standard Texas rig with a soft plastic, it could get a little fishy, man. And what I mean by that is, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know if I can get the hook in the fish on a Texas rig, but we still have to go with the soft plastic because we only have two hard baits. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna go with my blue chatter donk. I'm gonna go with my blue lipless crankbait. That's gonna be easy to hook up on, on the Zebco. And for my final bait, I think I'm gonna go with the rage crawls. I'm also gonna take the worms with me, but I think those are gonna be my selection of baits that I'm gonna take out to the pond are these right here. All right, Tara, you are up. You gotta pick three baits. You could take more than three. You could take them all down there, but I would like for you to pick, you know, your three that you would prefer for today's challenge. Go ahead and hop into all it. Right, for sure, going with the Rage Crawl. Okay, I like that because I'm going with the Rage Crawl in the blue. Okay, perfect. These always tend to be my favorite to fish with, so. Trusty old steed and let's see. Steed? What is it, steed? What's a steed? It's not a horse. What a uh, steed. Okay. That's what a trust that's a trusty old steed. Whatever that means. I never heard what it. is it? What's that saying? I have no idea. I've never heard trusty it in my life. What? Somebody help her out down below because some of y'all might know what she's saying, but I have okay. no clue. All right, so you got the rage crawls. That's yep. your first bait. We'll set those to the side. What else you got Ooh. going? Okay. Need a hard bait. Let's go. Um hmm. What are you gonna choose? Do I want a lip? What do I not? I'm gonna go with the red eyed shed. I like that choice. Lastly, you know, your lizard is tempting. I've yet to fish with a lizard, but this matches my nails. Okay. And I love the color of it. So you gotta go with that one. I'm gonna go okay. with that one. I would say take the lizard. You haven't just caught a fish. Just for fun, just for fun. You've never caught a fish on a lizard. Maybe today is your first, first day to have a lizard bass. And uh, she is paired up. Oh my God, there's a wasp. Chill out, bro. She's paired up on the mock smash, boys. It's a beautiful mock combo right there. If you guys wanna check those out and go on mock nation. Sadly, we don't have the kicking combos today. You know, the old green rods that we use in every video. But if you would like to check out the kicking combos that I always use in the videos, kickingtheirbass.com it'll be linked down below but without further ado tara let's go ahead and tie up our first bait and get down to the pond okay this is where it's getting a little tricky do i hop right on board with a lipless crankbait i don't know do, or do i hop on board with the chatter donk and tara this is one thing so you know i didn't pick out these baits to go to the pond with i know you picked these out for me wait if i have to take the lizard that you picked out for me you gotta okay take the fine I'll, I'll what take what do you mean so i'm gonna use the hoochie coochie but this is what I'm gonna do. That is a crazy, look at that. I've never seen a swim bait just bend over. Like, that's a little weird. <laughs> that, that just, you know you know what, man? Sometimes things just come out of your mouth and it is what it is. I'm going with the Chatter Dog Boys and I'm gonna pair it up with this Hooch Cooch that uh, Tara picked out for me. And it's gonna work perfectly on this Chatter Dog. Look at that, Tara. Could you imagine a better pair? Look at that. It looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. I, that tail is oddly long. It's Kind of odd for a swim bait. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up on my Zebco. And I have the standard mono that comes on the Zebco. I don't know what pound test this is. Let's see. It says it's rated for six to 14 pound line. If I had to guess, this is either six pound test or it's maybe eight. So we gotta be very fragile today. No crazy Noah hook sets because I'm gonna end up breaking off or possibly snapping my rod in half. And we do not want that. But we gonna tie this puppy up. Boom, there we go. And that is the first bait that I'm using. I am tying up a Texas rig and I'm putting my crawl on first. I 
I think that's going to get me one right away. My goal is to go out there and beat Noah, which isn't very hard. Hey, you're going to have to bring it today with the old Zebco. I got the legendary Zebco combo. We got this Fire Ridge Crawl. I don't think I've ever had a red one like this. I haven't either. I've never fished with Why one Why do you before. think you don't usually get a red red uh, It depends on the year. Like if they're smoking red baits, I would definitely consider it. I feel like if I had a red fire crawl chowder bait, then that thing would probably look amazing on there. I actually think they're going to smoke them for the 4th of July. This beautiful pond looks saucy and juicy, doesn't it, Tara? I'm just going to lay some of these baits out so when we come back to rig up, we have everything that we possibly would ever need. So Tara, the challenge is gonna start in three, two, one, go. All right, boys, we have this big old chatter donkey on the old Zebco. I hope we can get him to bite. We need to check our drag. Okay, our drag's all set. I don't know if Tara's gonna check her drag. Oh my gosh, this is kind of hard to throw. Okay, this might be a little more difficult than I anticipated. <laughs> this is actually a really heavy bait for this rod. Ah, look at that. Big bombs, boys, big bombs. The big thing with this is being able to keep the fish pinned because I don't have much backbone. All right, boys, we're gonna go down here a little bit and see if we can get some of these fish to bite. There's just so much grass down here. I think some of this open water over here is gonna be our best bet. I'm just hoping that if I get a bite that I get this fish hooked because <laughs> that's kind of worrying me. All right, come on, fish. There's so, wait, did I have one? I think I had grass. Oh my gosh. I got the half ounce. I probably shouldn't have got the half. I probably should have got like a three eighth. If I knew how much grass was gonna be in this pond, I probably would have picked out my baits a little better. <laughs> not gonna lie, there is so much grass. And a month ago, this grass was not here. So I don't know what happened. I know we got a chatter donk, but what if I reeled it across the grass? Like what if I just reeled it like a top water across the grass? Look at that. You think I'd get a bite? Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, spoke it into existence, baby. Well, there we go. We got our first bite. Just reeling it out the top like a dang buzz bait. Just looks like a bucket of slop going across the water. All right, boys, we might need to change up game plans because this chowder donk is not working on the Zebco. I'll meet you guys at the tie-in station. All right, guys, back at the tie-in station. I just think I got to cut off the chowder donk. As much as I love the chowder donk definitely one of my favorite baits of all time i just don't know about it on the zevco man it's giving me a hard time we might go back to it depending on our luck but i think what we're gonna do is throw one of these soft plastics and i'm actually gonna throw it weightless tie this on with a little uni knot boom just like that cinch her down all right cut off our tag end let's see boys i think we're gonna go with the blue rage crawl tara is still fishing with the red rage crawl and i gotta go one upper here on the blue boys we're gonna be throwing this weightless she's throwing hers with a weight there's a ton of grass this is the smart play and an even smarter play is going to be how i'm going to work it so let's go ahead and go in this corner over here and see if we can get on board for the first fish actually look at that one's popping out there see how we're going to reel this rage crawl up that must have been a firework that sounded like a dang gunshot <laughs> that freaked me out but you see how I'm working this bait at the top of the water, guys? Look at that. See, I can run the rage crawl perfectly at the top. It just looks like a frog that's going across the top water. This is called outsmarting the play right here, boys. We're gonna reel this bottom bait just like a top water. And I think we're gonna have some crazy bites. Let's go over here by this grass. I think we can get one to slam it. See, Tara definitely needs to take her weight off and work it this way. Just need to figure out what these fish want. They haven't really shown us anything. You sure you don't want to move on? Not until I get a, get the lead here. Oh, oh, too late, too late. Ah, oh, he's off. He's off. No. Is that your first bite? Yeah, that was my first bite. I think it just went through grass and it scooped him off. Are you reeling it or letting it sink? No, I started to reel it, work it as top water. That's when it bit it. He probably would have stayed on if you weren't over here. He might have stayed on if you weren't talking trash about my pond, though. No? Well, if the shoe fits. This place is gosh. Yes, there we go, boys. There we go, yes, sir. Oh my gosh, he is not big, but that counts. It's a fish, baby. And he destroyed that thing like a top water. Heck yeah. Just had to get to a different spot of the pond and we're on board, baby. First fish of the video. Thank you for biting, baby.
beautiful fish. There he goes, let's go boys. Not only did we catch one on the rage crawl, we got it in top water fashion. Now let's go tie on our second bait. All right guys, well your boy is leading one to zero right now. We're gonna go ahead and pack up our stuff and go to the other side of this pond and see if our luck changes. So I will catch you guys over there. All right guys, setting up camp at the other side of the pond. Are you ready Tara? I'm ready. Well, you can go ahead and get started. I got to retie. Sadly, I got to cut old blue curl off. You know, I got our first fish, but we have to get on to our second bait to keep progressing in this challenge to hopefully take it home with the Zebco. All right, guys, let's see our other options that we had. This this is one that I was thinking about. What do, what do you guys think about the blue? Should I rock with the blue, man? The blue worm? I think that should be a go because we already have the hook rigged up. All we have to do is just put the worm on. This is actually a really small worm. I didn't think uh, they were that small. I'm going to throw this weightless as well just because of this grass situation. And uh, I think we're going to end up getting bit on this pretty quick. To be as time efficient as possible, I think it's good that we put that blue worm on. Let's go ahead and get started. I am cutting my weight off. I'm going to do it weightless just because of all that grass. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, I even put my worm on weightless here. See the little worm? It's like an itsy bitsy snake swimming through the water. I can tell you guys, these fish are inactive as can be today, man. It is hot. They're probably as hot as I am right now. It's like 95 degrees outside. They're probably like, I don't want nothing to do with this heat. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. I'm on board. I'm on board. Oh, you're not coming off, buddy. Nope. There we go. Whoo. All right, you guys know it was right. Took my weight off. Here we go. I am on board. Red versus blue. One, one. Here we go. On the red crawl. Love to see it. It's time to go beat Noah. Thanks, buddy. She's on board, guys. We're freaking tied. All right, we got to get to work. Come on, worm. Do your magic, man. Do your magic. All right, guys, we're going to walk down a little further in this corner over here. I'm trying to figure out where these fish are, but it might just be one of those things that they're just not biting. You know what I mean? They're just kind of shut off. So probably whatever we do right now might be a little tough, but there's got to be a hot spot on this pond right now that we can just start smoking them at. All right, we're just going to work this how it's supposed to be. We're just going to let it sink on the bottom. I know it's weightless. It's going to take a half a century to get down there, but let's just work it how we should work it. Take our time here. Not get a little too antsy. Tara's caught up with us. Got to hunker down here and see if we can get a fish on board. So I took off that weight because there's so much grass and just worked it as a topwater. And that blow up was awesome. I love topwater. That is by far my favorite. My next bait. We're going with that worm. See if I can do what I did with the crew. Oh my gosh, instantly, instantly. Oh my gosh. Oh, as soon as I threw it in there. Always on the line, let's do it, let's do it. Yes, I knew they'd love the sparkly worm. Literally as soon as that hit the water, I didn't even have to do anything. There we go, there we go, I'm stoked. Fish number two. Oh, he was off. Tara's already on her other fish. I think Tara's literally caught another fish back there. That is not good. <laughs> we're, we're falling behind here. I'm gonna do the lizard. Just because I had such luck on that worm and call in this area. I think they're gonna smoke this right away. Okay, okay. I'm staying over here. I think they're loaded. I got one, I got one. Oh, no. No, dude. I finally decided to work it really slow there and I just got slammed. If we're lucky enough, we should be able to throw right back in there and get bit. I think it was about right there. He was just swimming with it, guys. Just barely going off with it. Yes, there we go, boys. There we go, there we go. Get him up here, <laughs> let's go, baby. That is a tiny bass. Oh my gosh, did I think my first one was small? This is officially a itty bitty bass. Oh my gosh, kicking grass up on me. Let me get you off the hook, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Not much to talk about, but guys, in this challenge, it does not matter. It does not matter the size as long as we catch a fish. So we'll take her for our second fish. Let's go ahead and run back here, guys. Tara's getting close to us. And I want to make sure we get the dub here. 
We need to go tie on our third bait. All right, boys, time to cut off the worm and get on to our next bait, baby. Let's see our options here so we can figure out what exactly that we want. Let's see what we got. I think this is the only bait, either this or the chatter donk. And to be honest, guys, I think this lipless crank bait right here is gonna be so much easier to work than that chatter donk. Don't get me wrong, a chatter donk is my top three bait of all time, but on a Zebco, probably not the case. One, it was just too heavy, and two, I could not get a hook into them. So this bait right here, this little red eye shad, is gonna be a little difficult going through the grass. So we need to find areas that isn't grassy, but I will say if one bites it, we should be able to keep them hooked up the whole time pretty flawlessly. So let's go ahead and tie this on for a third bait and uh, get a moving bait on board. Then we can move on to the white lures. All right, we're good to go. I got the lipless crankbait on. Are you nervous? I think I'm gonna get slapper donkey. Look at this boys, got the blue Zebco with the blue trap. That's just looking so Let me see your lizard. Oh boy, it's a spicy looking lizard. Ah. Oh guys, I can beam this thing a country mile. Let's see, I think we're gonna get slammed. If we can just get an active fish, we've only been able to catch them on soft plastics today. That doesn't mean that we can't catch one on this trap though. It's just that grass is gonna be a little pain in my butt, but I think we can get one on this. I feel confident. And we know at least if I hook him, he's gonna stay pinned. And the craziest part about this whole challenge, my first two baits, I didn't even have a problem keeping the fish pinned. Like I, I expected me to get way more bites and lose a bunch of fish, but I happened to keep them all pinned up, which is pretty impressive. Oh, I thought I had one. That grass keeps tripping me out, man. It's like I'm running it clean all the way until I hit this patch of grass and then it just stops. I'm going to catch the last fish. I don't mind throwing an elbow or two to win this thing. Hey man, just wait. Right there, baby. Right there. Slam it. Just slam it. Do the slammer jammer. Do the slam a jamma. Oh, there we go. Yes, we're on. We're on, baby. We on. Out in the middle, we just gotta keep them pinned. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned, baby. She ain't even big. But we'll take her. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I about took my head off. There we go, boys. We finally completed the blue challenge. And my last two bass. Or a combination of dang 15 inches, but I'll take them. There ain't much to him, but he he slammed that puppy. Let's go. All right, boys, there we go. We got the blue challenge out of the way. So we are halfway done with this challenge. We just have to catch three fish on the white lures and we are going home with the victory, boys. So let's go ahead and go back to tie on our first white bait. Pretty much all these white baits, except for one of them, is a chatter donk. So we have an option of a fluke, which is, this is the caffeine shad by Strike King. We got a rage curl in white by Strike King. We have a little trick worm. Man, these are, these are some juicy options. And then the chatter bait. So what I'm gonna actually do is tie on the same extra wide gap hook and we're gonna figure out which one we wanna use from there. Boom, there we go, we're all tied up. And I think I'm gonna rock with the caffeine shag, guys. We haven't got to throw a fluke style bait yet today. And I think that is what I'm gonna be work, rocking with. This thing should go through that grass a little better than some of these other options. I should be able to weave this thing right right through all that sauce and that looks money if you guys want to win all the lures that we bought today all you have to do is hit the like button on this video be subscribed to the channel and also hit the post notification bell and then comment down below what videos you would like to see next and at the end of your comment put your email and i will pick a winner here in two weeks i will send an email out to the winner but let's go ahead and get back into the video all right guys we got our first white lure what do you think tara what you think it's okay it's okay. I hear a little bit of jealousy. I think there's one chasing me. Oh, this thing looks amazing. I'm thinking this white portion of the challenge might be the most flawless. That looks amazing. Oh, I can beam this thing too. Look at the weight that I got on it. You better get to the white baits quick. I think I'm gonna get one here in a moment. Oh, we should get, oh, huge boil. Oh, he ate me. Oh, I got a giant. I got a giant. No way. I think it's a big one. Oh, dude, he feels so big on this rod. Do I still got him? Yeah, I do. The boil's huge. 
Oh, that's a nice one. There we go. That's more of the size that we want. Get up here, boy. Let's go, baby. That quick, the caffeine shad out of all baits is getting smoked. That is a beautiful fish right there, boys. Let's go. There we go, boys. That is our fourth fish of the day. First fish on the white lures. Let's get it. That thing felt so, oh my gosh, look at him. That fish felt so big, guys, on that rod. Oh my gosh. We are already through the first white bait. What do you got to say about that, Tara? What do you got to say? Huh? I'm going to come back. Are you jealous? No. Oh, you're a little jealous now. Guys, we are rigging up the old finesse worm. This thing should get crushed probably just as good as that fluke. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna work it in a very similar fashion around some of this grass, and I think they're gonna smoke it. We are a step closer to victory, boys. We need a bite on this, and then a bite on either the chatterbait or the rage crawl, and we win the challenge. Oh, look at that skip, bro. No way! No freaking way! Oh, dude, that was insane, man. On the skip cast. A skip cast on a freaking push button to a catch. How much better could this challenge be going? Oh my goodness, that was one of the coolest little catches. Not a big one, but a fat one. And that was just so cool, being able to skip that dang bait on that push button and having him eat it on the same cast. I saw a boil off that bank a second ago, and he was there. One step closer, one fish, baby, and we secure the dub. All right, boys, we're on to our final bait of the challenge. The best feeling in the world is when you're getting closer to that victory. Oh, guys, I have one more bait. So I actually have a popping frog that I could try out, but the only problem with this is I just don't think I'm going to be able to hook set with it. Like, I just don't think it's possible. The chatter dog, I just can't reel it fast enough for how heavy it is. I wish I didn't get half ounce. That was a mistake on my part. So I think we're going to have to go with the old handy dandy rage crawl. We already caught one on the red and the blue today. We, we might as well add white to the mix and uh secure the dub with her so let's go ahead and get this on and smoke this challenge there we go there we go wait what is this what's going on is it grass maybe it's a fish is that grass? There's a fish in it. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, poor guy. Oh, there's the fish. Oh yeah. I am off the reds onto the white baits. Thank you, buddy. Finishing up my reds. All right, Tara, what are you doing? Tying on my first Trying to catch up? white bait. Yep. I, I just need one fish, Tara. Does that, does that make you nervous at all? Not one bit, I like no. that. But I know where you're messing up. You took off your hat and it just might be a lot of I, bad luck. I wanted the hat, I, I really did, but it was making me so hot. You're supposed to do the opposite. <laughs> no, not with all this hair So in we're there. definitely returning it. No, we're keeping it. And we're suing them. <laughs> just saying, we're keeping it and suing. All right, boys, third and final bait. Let's get it. One more bite could possibly secure the dub, as long as we land the fish. That's the big thing. You gotta land them. We can't just get a bite. We actually gotta put them on the bank. What the? What was that? That looked like a shark or a dolphin. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen while fishing. The only thing I can think of is it's one of those birds. Oh, oh, that would have been in the challenge winner right there, boys. What in the world? Oh, man. That was such a good bite. Chased it all the way up on the bank. Nasty little boil. All right, you guys, I am on to my first white bait. Tied on a fluke there. I think it's going to slam it as soon as I put it in the water. Oh, big swirl, big swirl. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm not losing you, buddy. 
Oh, I got one on the white. Thank you, buddy. First one on the white bait. Toss him a little bit. First white bait is down. On to my second bait. Only two more to go. Noah is one fish ahead of me now. But we've got this. Let's do it. There we go. There we go, boys. There we go. That's the winning fish now. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. It's not a bad one either. Uh oh, Tara. Boom, baby. That is the challenge winner. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's get it. There we go, boys. Not a bad fish to end it off on. And that was an even better bite. Thank you, baby.